Hello, welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Um, got a, a beer for you that it's become one of my sort of regular beers, one that I drink all the time. And I, I realised I haven't actually reviewed it, funnily enough. Um, it's a beer from Sierra Nevada, readily available. It's their uh, California IPA, coming in at 4.2% ABV in a 355ml can, slightly bigger than our standard UK ones. Um, you can get these in packs of four in Morrison's Tesco, I believe. Um, they charge six pound for a pack of four, or you can get two packs for nine. So eight cans of this stuff for, for nine pound, and I do recommend it. Um, Sierra Nevada, obviously the daddies of American craft beer. They started it all really with their pale ale. Uh, but this is a citrusy and sessionable ale. Uh, yeah, 4.2% ABV, Sierra Nevada, obviously from uh, California. Um... What's it say? What's it say? Doesn't really have any flavour text on the can. Best or cold, enjoyed when fresh. But yeah, let's just crack into it, shall we? A citrusy, sessionable IPA from Sierra Nevada. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Especially uh, when you've been out doing a lot of walking, which I have today. Still in Cornwall. Uh, we're here for another couple of days before we return home. But we've had a lovely week. We've really been enjoying it. I've been doing uh, a few Cornish brewery visits and I've picked up a few Cornish beers which I'm going to be reviewing soon as well so stay tuned for those. Um, so here's the Sierra Nevada California IPA. Pale, light gold in colour, maintaining a good one finger, white head. Um, you might be able to make out some of the carbonation there, there you go. With the light behind you can see nice, nice levels of carbonation on this one. Finger of uh, quite a fluffy looking white head on it. Say so pale gold. Give it a wriggle, stick my nose in, see what we're dealing with in terms of an aroma. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely kind of subtle tropical fruit aroma. Mango, pineapple. A little bit of passion fruit there as well. It does smell nice. It's a very light, Tiny bit of citrus there as well, but it's, it's mainly a light tropical aroma. Really smells inviting. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. Really light. Really drinkable. Citrus. Subtle mango on the flavour. Lemon, lime. No real grapefruit to speak of on this one. Very little bitterness on the back end. Very little bitterness on this one at all, to be honest. It is light, citrusy, subtle mango, subtle pineapple. It's got good body to it. It really coats the palate. And actually, the more you drink it, the more it develops. And the citri citrus sort of bitter edge kind of grows as you drink it. But it never overpowers that light, fruity, citrusy kick that you get at the beginning. It's a very nicely balanced IPA. The bitterness is there. And it grows as you're drinking it. It develops as you're drinking it. But like I say, it never overtakes the other element to it. It's a really nicely balanced IPA. And it is very light, really drinkable. Oh, lots of citrus, subtle tropical flavours. Good levels of carbonation on it. Lovely bitter kick coming through now. Lovely citrusy bitter kick. It really is good. It's a lovely IPA. It's one that I go to quite often. Since they started putting it in the four packs, and you can get you know eight of them for nine quid. It's a no-brainer. It's a really good purchase. And like I say, Tesco and Morrison's are both doing them. Um, quite readily available. It is a bit gassy, this one. So, excuse me. Uh, but when you've had a day out walking, and you get in, you want to wind down, that is a perfect... A perfect post-walk beer. Really nice. Covers all the bases. Really light. Really drinkable. Good balance to it. Good complexity to it. 
it's almost too drinkable. It's a winner. Um, if you had a lot of IPAs and you went into the IPAs, this probably might not blow your mind. But if you just want a good IPA that you can just have drink a few of and not worry too much about what you're drinking, it's one of them where you know it's good, but it doesn't... How can I describe it? It doesn't insist upon itself. It's not trying to be amazing. But at the same time, in doing so, it becomes a very good IPA, you know? And you know you're in for a good beer with Sierra Nevada. It's a really, really good session IPA. And they've described it, described it as citrusy and sessionable ale. That's exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. It's a lovely sessionable IPA. Really good stuff. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for Sierra Nevada's California IPA. Available in Tesco, in Morrison's, uh, in four packs. And you probably get individual cans as well, I would have thought. Not 100% sure, but have a look. Really worth it. 9 out of 10. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, guys. Until my next one, you take care.